Hello everyone, Rahul Kocha here. I'm a Senior Partners Management Solution Architect here at AWS. Joining me today is Sid. Sid, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi Rahul, uh, I'm a Principal Migration Specialist Solution Architect at AWS. I help partners build a migration and modernization practice on AWS. Great. Sid, why don't you tell us what are the top drivers for customers to migrate to cloud? I'm sure cost is one of those, but could you just dive deep into those drivers? Yeah. Sure, Rahul. Uh, good question. So as you imagine, migrating to AWS is definitely uh, a cost reduction is always a big factor. Mm -hmm. you know, customers save over 20 to 50% in terms of hardware costs by migrating on-premise workloads to AWS okay. without having to go through a refresh cycle. Other factors that we hear are end of life in terms of hardware, software, or licensing. Mm -hmm. There are timelines customers want to get out of the data centers in. One of the recent you know, in industry updates is being able to leverage Gen AI uh, and augment mm -hmm. their applications with yep. AI and machine learning. You know, Cloud offers them a list of services that they can leverage and augment their applications with AI. All of these result in improved agility, improved staff productivity, and uh, better resilience for their application in AWS. Okay. So tell us, what is MAP and what are the key outcomes it delivers to the customers here? So knowing that a migration for an enterprise can be a complex scenario, it can mm -hmm. be uh, time consuming, AWS has uh, developed a migration acceleration program that is based mm -hmm. on these six primary pillars that help customers simplify their journey to the cloud. You know, we have a proven methodology that has helped with hundreds of migrations. We have the migration tools to help with all phases of the journey, whether it be the assess, the mobilize, or the migrate, modernize. We have a network of migration competency partners and industry competency partners that are skilled at helping partners, that are helping customers migrate to AWS. And AWS has investment programs to offset the cost of the migration for the customer, making it easier for their business case to operate on the cloud. We have training and certification programs that help you gain skills mm -hmm. for operating and migrating workloads to the cloud. And last but not the least, we have professional services that can help customers that are looking for migration services to the cloud as well. These professional services could also be from our partners, yeah? Absolutely, absolutely. Right. Okay, and now, you know, you spoke about some of the phases. Why don't we just double click and tell us how MAP works? Sure. So let's look at the customer journey uh, from a MAP standpoint, right? We have three phases in MAP. Mm -hmm. The assess phase, which is basically involves discovering the assets that are in scope for migration okay. and preparing a TCO. A TCO is a total cost of ownership for a three to five year cost of operating in the cloud versus mm -hmm. operating on-prem, right? Along with that, there's a very important aspect that our partners help customers with, is a migration readiness assessment. So okay. they assess the customer's readiness to operate in the cloud, and they help alleviate or make a list of all the burdens that they may have to overcome in order for them to be successful and, and be able to migrate to the cloud. So we have uh, tools, and we have workshops, and we have immersion days that can help with uh, assess in the, uh, for the customers. Mm -hmm. Going, going there, you know, the next step, you see we have some accelerators. We have uh, accelerators that can help moving, migrating from assess to mobilize quickly in the customer's migration journey. One of the things customers do is identify pilot workloads okay. that they want to start with when they migrate to the cloud. We use those workloads to actually build a migration plan and to build an operating model for those workloads. This helps the customers build migration experience as well by working with their partners to migrate those workloads and run those workloads in the cloud. <clears throat> uh, we also make sure that we have a well-architected landing zone to meet all the security and the governance aspects of running these workloads in the cloud. Once we have these in place, we have all the foundation that we need to migrate at scale, and we use tools like our automated migration factory tools, mm -hmm. or migration hub orchestrator, to migrate the rest of the workloads at scale. Now, imagine if I have already started with my cloud journey. Say, for example, I have built net new applications, greenfield applications. You know, we, uh, I'm a customer and we also tried with uh, serverless function. Does MAP still work for me and is that still good enough for me? Can it still help me with transitioning my legacy uh, brownfield environment? Very good question. Uh, so we have a lot of customers that are 
prototyping or running POCs in the mm -hmm. cloud, you know, and Map is a is a great platform or a great program that helps these customers leverage the help of partners that are certified to help assess and mobilize and migrate their workloads at scale in the cloud. So okay. definitely, if you have an existing workload, you can still leverage Map uh, very well and. Uh, I accelerate your migrations to the cloud. So what are the different modernization pathways that does MAP support? So let's talk a little bit about the different modernization pathways that we have for MAP. As you can see, uh, you know, there is a beyond lift and shift, beyond just taking your workloads and, and having them run in the cloud as existing EC2 instances. Uh, our customers have uh, been able to gain uh, further, you know, improvements in their TCO by mm -hmm. modernizing those workloads in the cloud, right? When I say that, I mean taking an existing monolith workload and moving, you know, breaking it down into, say, microservices and being able to deploy a cloud-native solution that is resilient and fault-tolerant and is serverless. You know, we can take a monolith and actually break it down into containers so we can take applications and containerize yeah. them. Uh, there's also the ability to find purpose-built databases for the services that are now running in the cloud. So you can have different AWS services uh, that are either going to help with transactional database, real-time, you know, graph plotting, and then there's various database solutions that they can leverage to make them more performant in the cloud. Uh, then we have the moving to open source for customers that are moving away from expensive licensing in the cloud to a more open source solution that's okay. built with cloud native technologies. And then we've got moving to managed analytics. So this could be your data lakes using mm -hmm. information in the cloud. It could be uh, QuickSight, you know, to help with your analyzing and reporting, analytic and reporting needs in the cloud as well. And one of the biggest benefits you get is modern DevOps, right? So, but once you start breaking your model it down, you know, it's all about agility and you want to be able to deploy new sure. changes to these services quicker, right? This is where our uh, code pipeline and our code commit and code deploy services come into picture and they can actually go from a monolith to a more robust and a more modern DevOps architecture, bringing both the developers and the operationals pieces on the same page. Wow. Lots to learn. Um, how do we make sure that, you know, we, if you wanted to dive deep into MAP, you know, are there any training programs available? So, yes. So, I know we've, we've just uh, touched the surface right now, yep. but let's, uh, talk about the Migration Digital Foundations batch that we have. So this is mm -hmm. a learning plan and a ramp up guide for anybody that wants to get familiar with migrations to the cloud. It has a six hour course that packages all of our migration best practices, information about our tools and the MAP program into one uh, course. And uh, it's available at no cost. And when you're ready to check out you know, and test out, you can actually earn this batch, which you can share uh, via Credly on LinkedIn. Great, Sid, thank you very much for a uh, great amount of information that you shared here with us, all the way from starting why migrate to the business case to helping build a journey. We really appreciate your time today. Uh, if you would like to know more about MAP program, if you are a partner, please get in touch with your partner aligned team. If you are a customer, do reach out to our migration competency partner and we look forward to seeing you on the other side of migration. Thank you very much.